Writing a math assignment at the university level is a very different thing from mathematics writing in a K-12 setting. In this video, I want to give some clear expectations on what I expect for academic writing in mathematics. Most of this video follows from one basic idea. An assignment is a clear and clean presentation of your own arguments and ideas about a set of mathematical problems. Let me go through and elaborate this one basic idea. First, your assignments should be clean, legible, and well-organized. Don't hand in work with crossed out sections or questions out of order. Don't expect to hand in the paper that you start working on. First work out solutions in rough, and then organize your solutions and write up a complete, clear, and well-structured good copy to hand in. Like all academic work, good mathematics involves drafts. You should annotate your calculations and explain your work. A string of calculations without any explanation is usually not sufficient. In the basic idea, I said that an assignment is your argument, and arguments require words and sentences, not just mathematical symbols. As a starting rule of thumb, most first and second year math assignments should be roughly 50% calculations and 50% words and sentences. In the writing you do between and around your calculations, Hold yourself to the same standards you would for any academic writing. Use complete sentences and strive for clear, concise, and formal writing. For the vast majority of your work, you should leave numerical answers in exact values. For example, write square root of 5 instead of the approximate value 2.236. When you use a computer algebra system or other technical ta ca tool for calculations, please briefly indicate that you've done so. If you use any external sources, you must reference them. This includes online courses, videos, and online discussion boards. I am not particular about what format you use. Any of the standard formats are fine. If you use a resource which introduced definitions or solution techniques that are different from those we used in the course, you need to explain those definitions or techniques and tell me why they apply to the question that I assign. Collaboration on assignments is strongly encouraged. However, you must write, on, write up your own version of the assignment after you've worked together to figure out a solutions. Assignments from different students which have word-for-word -word identical sentences are not acceptable. And if you have collaborated with other students in the course, please record who you worked with somewhere on the assignment. Please hand in your assignments when they are due. If a health or emergency situation prevents you from finishing your assignment, let me know, by email preferably, as soon as possible. In any individual course, I may set out policy for late assignments. Please follow those policies. Assignments submitted outside of those policies will not be accepted. Finally, for assignments submitted directly to Moodle, if you're working with pen and paper, submit a PDF scan of your assignment. Almost all mobile devices, phones and tablets, have easy ways to use their built-in cameras to scan documents. And I will post instructions on the Moodle site to help you with this. You can also scan documents at the library. In the common reference material, which is linked to on the Moodle site, there are some side-by-side -side examples of how to write assignments. I'm not gonna go over those in this video, but please do review those examples to give you an idea of what I'm looking for for writing in mathematics. 